John from E-Mini School, and I'm going to do a recap video on a lot of the stocks we're in. We're actually in the options on these stocks, and if you are new, we have a blog that you can sign up at. It's uh, There's no period after the www. Okay, so that's the blog. Once you go there, you can sign up to where each post is delivered by email to you. Okay, so we're in CMG calls. Okay, we entered... On this day, we actually had a buy signal a few days earlier. Okay, we're still in half the position, and we are looking for. Let me see the target on CMG. We're looking for 335 for our next target. Okay, now going into tomorrow, though, we're going to play it tight, and our stop is going to be if CMG takes out today's low. Okay, we're going to exit the, the full position because all of these calls are July. Okay, so we're not interested in sitting through a correction on a daily chart. Okay, let's go over to ISRG. This is another one. We had a, we had a buy signal here. The option went from $4 to $8 on this day. And then we re-entered here and we're still holding. We're, we're out of half. We're looking for uh, three... Let me see. We're looking for our next target is 385. Okay, today the high was 383, so we we're two points shy of the target. Same thing, stop below today's low. Now, on this one, if you want, you can play it a stop below Friday's low and give it a little bit more room because ISRG is taking out this prior high so it could bounce a little bit here come down a little bit so if you want to give it a little bit more room okay but we're gonna play it pretty tight on the next pullback we'll look to re-enter long okay Amazon we played this a couple times um, we had just this day right here on the weekly call there was a 400 percent move okay then there was another entry here on this green bar, we, we took half off at 205, and we're looking at, for a move up to 217 on Amazon. But notice how it's taking out this high, too. So 217 could actually be a minor target. The next target is 230. Okay, um, POT. Okay, the stop is going to be below this low if you're in these. Um, DVN was triggered today. Okay, so the stop would be, and this would be a tight stop, but it would be the low of Friday. Okay, we're looking for 84. Okay, uh, DEC. We had our first target at 89, which was hit here. Our second target is 103. Okay, the entry was this bar right here, this green bar. Uh, by the time I posted on the blog, I think we were maybe over here a few days later. Okay, so really the point is where the market's at right now, I want to use tight stops. Okay, so let's look at the NASDAQ. Something to keep in mind, because I know everyone's trying to pick this as a top right here. And we do a nightly video and even on the blog, we've been saying, even though we were coming down here, the structure is still bullish. Now, if you go back to this prior low, okay, let's bring it in so you can see the date. This low in August, or I mean November of 08, okay, we had a move up, and we had, we had a very minor correction. The correction was between 25% and 38%. Now, we don't really use those numbers because they're too minor. We just label it minor. We don't really need to put the, the actual fib on there to label it minor. But this will give you the symmetry going forward. So the next wave to this high, you can see how we pulled down right in between the 25% and the 382. So the structure or the symmetry of this wave has relevance here. Okay, which means Overall, this is still extremely bullish, and this high should be taken out. Okay, so on one side, 
on the calls, on the options, we might be playing them too tight, okay? But they're up three, four hundred percent, okay? So we want to lock in those gains. This high should be taken out, which would result in all of those stocks going much higher. Okay, now if we break it down to a smaller time frame on a 60 minute, you can see we have blue bars. Okay, so we could be at a short term top to start a correction. The correction could be 100 points from this point and still be bullish even on a 60 minute chart. Okay, so the thing to think about is if you extend this wave, okay, and you add in the 2.618, you can see how right here we have a target or where it would be normal for it to end. Okay, now the 2.618 is on extended waves and this wave is extended. Okay, so um, we're beyond normal targets. So at that point we have an alternative way of doing the extensions plus we have add in your higher extensions. Okay, because even if it seems random that we would turn here, it, it's usually not random, okay? It's just you have to go on to a new or the secondary way of doing the fibs, okay? So, and in our course, we have the mindset of the standard way. Once it gets outside of the standard, okay, or the normal, then you start adding in the alternative and the higher extension targets. So be aware that we do have 60-minute blue bars, at a target okay so a pullback you know to uh, 2275 would be normal right here and you can see that's about a hundred points so it's too early to say go short because you can see the pattern is still up okay even in this last leg it's still extremely bullish but anything above 2375 okay I would label it extended and be careful position trading where you're holding trades for a long period of time going for 20 30 points intraday okay so that's already been done here up to this point okay so it would be too late to have that mindset okay now on a daily chart we can still just keep short squeezing to break this high okay so i could be wrong in saying on a 60 minute we're near a top okay but we have blue bars that signal that. Okay, but you can see how on this move down, okay, we had blue bars. We had a pop up from that. So we had a pop up of about 30 points. And then we ultimately went lower. Okay, so we could still do that here. We could just move down a little bit and then go up and break this high. Okay, but it's really more of a scalping condition right here in, in our opinion. Okay, so you can see how on these stocks like CMG, if you go to the blog, you'll see the entry date and how we've been playing this. Um, and just note, this is just the last little leg. Okay, you can see there's been multiple waves that could have been played. Yellow bar, big move coming, blue bar, look to exit. Okay, it drops down into another buy signal. So, um ISRG is pro and CMG are the ones that probably have the most room to run. Uh, I'm not sure if I looked at Amazon. This is another one we're in. And Amazon also looks really well too. So um, at this point, up 300-400%, I would look to trail the stop a little bit tighter based on the 60-minute NASDAQ chart. Okay, see you guys on the next video.